Hello LEGO fans, Jarv Bricks here with another LEGO mock. Now I've been saying that I've wanted to do this for a while, but I've been collecting parts through Bricklink. Finally, most of them have come, so I made a start on it. It's um, I've kept to the deep dark red brick colour. I, I liked it, I thought it went well with the, uh, the seam, so uh, I just got more red the dark red stuff and made it a little bit bigger so let me show you what I have done I'll take the minifigures away and I'll start at ground level and work my way up so uh, this is the very similar to the front that you got uh, with the actual set um, but I thought I'd make a few little changes first of all instead of having one big long sliding door that went both ways I made it so they split up just by changing the windows at the top um, quite a, an easy fix and that way it doesn't block everything you can just have one door open or just both a little bit to get through it and you can still use the doors and and things like that so that was my first change I uh, kept, uh, like I said in the last beginning of this video, should I say, I kept the theme. I like the little stickers, um, the grey and the blue all go well with it. Uh, going round, it's just the same old stuff. And looking at through the camera, you will see a slight difference in the red colour, which I find really bizarre because most of these red bricks came from the same set. You can see it here as well. I don't know why that is. Uh, so from the back you've got the kennel and uh, a bit of rubbish in the back. But one thing I wanted to do is I really like the, 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 uh, the play feature of this. So I wanted to keep it. So in order to do that once once it's in place I'll just left this little hole here and you can turn it and so on uh, so that's just to be able to still do that uh, with the hot rod uh, I've just put a um, flight of stairs going around to the apartment at the top and I used these stickers here from the little skate park creator house or whatever that was called so I had two of them I don't some the other ones somewhere on this building I don't know where out oh, there um, so yeah I just thought I'd put that in there as well I thought it went well especially with the sticker on this side and I'm going to just pick up the camera while I show you the inside okay so I didn't tile any of the insides, like I've said previously, I think it's a bit of a waste of money uh, to do it. So I've got the, the welding helmets in the corner there next to the window with the uh, table with the pizza on and a little vice that came with this set. A uh, little welder in the corner there by the door. And that is the from the Speed Champions uh, Dodge, I think it was. Uh, put that in there to test the vehicles when they have them. And just take that out. And then you've just got a little bit of a workbench in the corner there, just with some uh, jumpers to mimic lots and lots of drawers. okay so let me get the next floor on. so before i put it in its place let me just show you the inside so here this is the uh, kitchen with the units a wardrobe there the bed no walls between the rooms or toilet for that matter uh, couch with a tv in there watching racing on the TV and just have a little lamp in the corner 
and a few uh, DVDs under the TV stand. Now let's put it on the building. So I've just put lots of these windows with the openers here. Uh, three of them will be the windows that came from the door. And I just used the uh, red profile brick at the front there, which gives it an authentic older building feel. Um, probably my most favorite brick of all Lego bricks. I think it adds so much detail to the uh, the building. Another example, all of these came in the tuning workshop set and they're all slightly different colors, which is very frustrating. The door to the flat at the top with a little doorbell that looks at you. And that's it. Now, let me put the roof on. I do like uh, finding different styles for the roof. You know, just having this feature across the top. Uh, try to make every one of my buildings slightly different, slightly more unique than the last. And uh, I look at some of my older buildings actually, and I think, you know what, they're rubbish. Um, in comparison to some of the uh, ones that you get now, uh, particularly with the modular buildings, I particularly liked the corner garage roof, uh, which I've copied on the friend set mock, if you look at that, the central perk. Um, so this time I just went for something slightly different again, just putting these here, which gave it uh, quite a unique feel. And I think it's got different depth, so I think it just gives it a lot more texture and feel to the building, uh, which I enjoy getting. And that's why I, um, I, I put this little uh, slope here. I think if it was just one straight line, it, it's quite boring, but just giving it that little bit of texture. When you look at it straight on there as the camera, you probably won't even notice that there's a slope there, but in my city with my human eyes, I can see it and I think it just gives it so much more uh, character to the building, uh, having those different depths and textures to it. So that's it. That's my tuning shop mock. Uh, let me just show you what it looks like in its location. And this is its new home next to the garage. You've got the mechanics outside showing the hot rod that they've completed and you can see the one that they're still working on inside the garage there. You've also got a little sneak peek of my uh, showroom next door. Uh, there is no building there yet. I was just tinkering with a few ideas. Um, I think that will look nice with the uh, garage, then the tuner shop, and then the car showroom all next to each other. I think it's quite practical. And generally that's what you see uh, out and about, all these types of buildings all together. I think it works really well within the city. I do need to get rid of that house next to the garage as that is an official Lego set and I don't have Lego sets in my city, as you know. So thank you for watching. Let us know what you think of this mock. Uh, let me think, know if you've got any ideas to improve it. I'll be happy to hear them and possibly even implement them. So thank you again and goodbye from Jarbricks.